You're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this here, we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1, then minus. Also, here, follows when we have a raised to power m minus n. With same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here this becomes 4 raised to power x over 4 raised to power 1, then equals to 50 on this side. The next step here, this we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1, still 4, then minus. We can write this as 4 raised to power x times 1 over 4 raised to the power 1, which is still 4, then equals to 50 on this side. The next step here, we have 4 raised to the power x common. We factor it out, and we have 4 raised to the power x into brackets. Here, we mean 4, then minus 1 over 4 here, close bracket, equals to 50 from here. Then, here we have 4 raised to the power x multiplied by the SCM here. We have 4, and this is 4 over 1. And 1 going for 4, 4 times 4, that's 16, then minus 4 going for 1, 1 times 1, that's 1, then equals to 50 on this side, which implies this becomes 4 raised to the power x times 16 minus 1, that's 15, then over 4 equals to 50 here. Then, to remove 15 over 4 here, we multiply both side by 4 over 15. Let's just multiply this side by 4 over 15, which implies here, 15 counts each other, 4 counts each other, and we have 4 raised to the power x equals to 50 times 4, all over 15. That is, it implies this can be written now 4 is to power x equals to here we have 5 times 10, then times 4 over here we can write it as 5 times 3. That is, here 5 cancelled each other, and we have 4 raised to power x equals to. 10 times 4. Of course, we can still leave it as 40, or we can put it as 4 times 10 times 4, then over 3. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. This here we have log 4 raised to the power x equals to log into bracket 10 times 4 over. Three. Then we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, it's the same thing as p log m. Then what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 10 times 4 over 3. And this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b over c, you can write this as log a plus log b, then minus log c. And what we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 10 plus log 4 minus log 3. And next step, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here log 4 cancelled each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 10 plus log 4 minus log 3 all over log 4. 
are from here. You can separate this into two fractions. And all we have becomes x equals to log 10 over log 4 plus log 4 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. That is, from here we have log 4 cancelled each other. We have one left. And what that becomes x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, also here we can express 10 as 2 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, this also follows on the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then also we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then from here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 square plus log 5 over log 2 squared minus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then, yeah, this becomes on the power law of logarithm. 2 comes here, also here, then from here, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. Then here yeah, we have log 2 cancel each other, 1 over 2 left, that is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2, then plus, here yeah, we can write this as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2, then minus also 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2, that is, 1 plus 1 over 2, same thing as 1 number 1 over 2, which can be written as 3 over 2. And what we have becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2 minus also 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then when we apply change of base here from when we have log a over log b this is same thing as log a to base b that is what we have becomes x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 then minus also 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Next step, we can bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to the SCM here, that's 2. And this still remains 3 plus log 5 
base 2 then minus log 3 base 2 that is the value of x here we have 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 or over 2 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 and plus 1 here and minus also 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 and we have minus 1 here is it equals to 50 on this side then from here we can bring this part together as one fraction that this is 1 over 1 and the same here is 2 that is we have 4 raised to power 2 then we still have 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 then plus 2 now then minus also 4 raised to power also SCM up here we have 2 as well and this still remains 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 and minus 2 now is it equals to 50 on this side that is from here we have 3 plus 2 that's 5 and you can see this is 4 raised to power 5 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then minus also 4 raised to power here we have 3 minus 2, that's 1, that's 1 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 50 on this side? Then, okay. here we can write 4 as 2 square. And we have 2 square raised to power 5 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 minus also 4 here can be written as 2 square then raised to power 1 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 50 on this side then here this power multiplies and 2 here comes to each other we have 2 raised to power 5 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 then minus also here 2 cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 1 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 is it equals to 50 on this side then here we apply the law of indices and we can write this as 2 raised to power 5 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 over 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 and minus also here we have 2 raised to power 1 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 over 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 50 on this side? That is, next step here, we apply the law of logarithm. And we have a raised to power log b to base a, the same thing as b. And 2 raised to power 5 here, 2 multiply say 5 times, that's 32. Then times here, we become 5. Then over here becomes 3. 
then minus 2 raised to the power 1, that's 2 times 5. Then over 3 as well. Is it equals to 50 on this side? That is, here we have 32 times 5. That's 160. Then over 3 minus 2 times 5. That's 10 over 3. Then is it equals to 50 on this side? Now this here, we bring this together as one fraction. The SCM here, that's 3. And we have 160 minus 10, that's 1 around 50. Then is it equals to 50 on this side. And of course, 150 over 3, that gives us 50. Which is equals to 50 here. Then left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.